Hello, it's Joanna Martin here, author of the book The Presentation Profits Blueprint and founder of Shift Speaker Training. I've got a quick behind the scenes tip for you today because I just got asked a question by one of my community in our Platform Speakers Forum, Catherine Watkin. And Catherine is creating a home study program via webinar. So rather than uh, delivering seminars live with people in the room with her, she is delivering a series of trainings over the internet via webinar and she's planning to record those trainings in order to sell them over and over and over again as a home study program or a DVD set. So her question was how do I record this in order to get the best quality video? And that's a really good question. Now uh, if you are running webinars, and I highly suggest you do because you can reach many many more people. Uh, they're really, really great to get started. It's much cheaper to run a webinar than it is to pay thousands of dollars to hire a, a hotel venue to run a seminar. So when you're starting out, webinars are a great place to start. But I love them also because at the, you can create these beautiful quality home study programs by recording the webinar series the first time you do it. So there is a little tip that I like to share with my subscribers on how to make your uh, recordings stand out. Now it depends kind of a little bit on what webinar software you use to run your webinars. Now we use GoToWebinar, which is a fantastic uh, program which I've been using for a number of years. But there are others out there yet, so you can, these days, so you can research what's the best. Um, but for me, I, I use GoToWebinar. Now recently, yay, GoToWebinar made it possible to actually record your webinars on a Mac, which uh, for many years it wasn't possible to do, but now it is. So you can record your webinars inside GoToWebinar, both on Mac and PC these days, which is a great bonus. However, I like to take it a step beyond that to get really good quality for my home study programs. And what I tend to do is add a little extra something something. <laughs> what that is, is I get a good quality microphone. Now for me, I use something called a Samsung H2 Handy Recorder. It's just a great quality mic that I picked up a few years back. I think all the podcasting people recommend a Rode podcasting microphone these days. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's a reasonable quality microphone, um, you can usually pick something up for around $100, $200 and I will plug my microphone into my computer. So the audio is not just picking up through the computer microphone, but it's picking up through the, um, you know, through, through the good quality pickup of my mic. So that means your audio quality is far better than you know, little headsets and things. The second thing that I do is I use screen capture software. Now the wonderful thing about screen capture software is, and examples are um, ScreenFlow on a Mac, that's the one I use, ScreenFlow on a Mac, or on PC, the, the most well-known one is Camtasia. Now the wonderful thing about these pieces of software is they do three things. Number one, they capture the visual of what's on your computer screen. So if you're doing a slideshow, let's say, it captures the visuals of that slideshow on your computer screen. The second thing that it does is it captures your voice. And as we've said, it's capturing it through a great quality audio, so we've got great audio. The third thing that you can do is actually capture webcam as well. So as you're delivering your webinar, there can be a little picture of you down in the bottom right hand corner. So they're seeing the slides and you as well, speaking to them much as I am to you here today which takes it to another level again in terms of quality. It's now not just your computer screen, but it's you speaking to your audience as though you're right there in the room with them, which I think makes for an excellent quality home study program. Uh, the, only, uh, the only challenge with this setup is, uh, is that you sometimes need a second laptop so that you can do all of your answering people's questions and look at hands up and things because if you're recording what's on your computer screen it will also record the webinar control panel if that makes sense it would make sense if you've been running them so you might want a second laptop um, running just to kind of host all of the details of the webinar and this one just becomes your presenter laptop that's the way i've created beautiful quality home study programs from running my webinars and i think it's the best way if you're creating product, not just delivering the webinar, to record it. Not as simple as pressing record in GoToWebinar, but certainly worth the extra effort if you want to sell the programs over and over again. I hope that little tip helps you today. Uh, Catherine, I hope it's helped you, and I look forward to seeing you on the platforms of the world. Bye.